Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so we are going to be focusing on what is currently taking place in the Caribbean. So we have that trough in the region that has been inducing quite a bit of rainfall. So I can say uh, that sections in Jamaica yesterday got quite the shaking from all of the unrelenting rainfall that fell in. So before I go into details, All right, and so we are currently taking a look at satellite imagery and we can see here that we have quite a bit of moisture that is noted in the region. And so as I said, all of the rainfall here is being induced by a trough in the region. And so we can expect that going through the rest of this week, we will likely have more rainfall. So hopefully things will not be as bad as yesterday but we still have to prepare for the worst but hope for the best and so i will be showing you guys some footage of what happened here in st james yesterday and so uh first though let's take a look at what is expected uh in terms of that total precipitation in inches so we have the different colors that indicate different totals of rainfall here and so between now and tomorrow on thursday we are seeing that uh jamaica sections of Jamaica, especially the western side of the island, is highlighted in dark blue. That's indicative of just probably an inch or near an inch of rainfall. Whereas we see more colors such as lilac shades in sections of Hispaniola indicating that some areas will likely get up to about two inches of rainfall thereabout. However, GFS is showing that between now and Monday, take a look at this, we see that sections of jamaica are highlighted in that lilac shade which indicates that between uh now and monday we will have quite a bit of rainfall in total so that risk of flash flooding is still going to be present as we head throughout the week and so it really rains very heavily in the afternoon hours here and i'm just imploring everyone to please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe so let us see if the euro model is agreeing with what the gfs is expecting this is between now and tuesday so we're seeing that uh euro is expecting that we will have quite a bit of rainfall as well maybe not as much as what the gfs showed but we're seeing that we have the lilac shade so just about two inches of rainfall so again i'm just uh reiterating the fact that you should take all the necessary precautions to stay as safe as possible and so in the rainfall event that took place yesterday here, unfortunately, a life was lost. So I've been in this really somber mood since I heard the news of what happened because she was a student that attended my institution. I never knew her, but just to hear of what happened and how things unfolded, it brings me back to a very traumatic experience where I could have lost my life. So it was in May of 2014 when it happened. I just turned 10 years old and uh, my mother and I, we were going home and we were at a section where the roadway was blocked because water coming down from a hill also carried a lot of debris and the car was stuck. Over the other side, there was raging water in the ravine and I mean, things were just so traumatic i was so scared in the moment but fortunately my mother was able to reverse because as i said earlier the car was stuck and the fact that we were able to get out and uh, it was just about a minute later the moment we got out the water started to rapidly rise fortunately uh, there was a school that was elevated on a hill so that is where we had to stay for quite a few hours but to hear that this happened to a student of my institution it really hits because it just brings me back to that moment and the trauma i experienced and the fact that someone lost their life that way it really hurts guys so yes i'm imploring you all to take the necessary precautions and please stay safe but nevertheless i'm here to keep you updated on what is happening so that you know what to expect and so now I will be showing you some of the videos that were taken of the flooding that happened here in St. James. At the Westgate right now. I know nothing normal. See there, I know nothing normal. See there, watch it. Watch it, I know nothing normal. See 
see that vehicle rain. Watch it. See that? People stuck in our car right now. Huh? Yeah, it's a concern. Are we just approaching that season? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bed. All right, guys, and so next I want to point out something. So we do have an area of low pressure that is out in the Atlantic. And uh, we have on this map here the potential for us to have tropical cyclone development between 24 and 48 hours. And we see that we have that highlighted purple section there out in the Atlantic. So the chance is relatively low right now, but we really have to wait and see what's going to happen. Although the wind shear is likely to prevent anything major from developing. So let's go on to that GFS wind shear map. Okay, and so when you see more of the dark orange or red colors, that indicates that the shear is stronger. So out in the Atlantic, you can look closely and see that uh, that L, that indicates that low pressure system right there. But we're seeing that it is in the region of strong upper level winds however going to wednesday we see where uh, things are not very hostile however we still have a lot of that shear uh, to the southern section of that low and by thursday we see that the shear is increasing in the region and so it is possible for us to see some development with this but it is important to know that the national hurricane center has not highlighted this as an area of interest and so they will if the need is there for them to uh, give an outlook on that system here but as of right now nothing is there and so that is really it for this video guys if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and so remember to always be otherwise